Hey guys, it's Googly again with another video and this time I've got the Pixel Experience ROM for Motorola Moto G5 Plus. So stay tuned for that. guys the Moto G5 Plus now pixel experience well it's a good ROM and uh, let's get started first of all what you just saw there was the ambient display it does have ambient display it does work really well and uh, of course fingerprint scanner is working right off the bat I do want to mention that if you are having issues with fingerprint scanner it is probably because of a firmware issue you will have to flash the stock firmware of your device which is region specific and then look into it and do everything manually because I have had this issue issue and I had to go back do everything manually just keep that in mind it is not a ROM issue now let's get started this is pixel experience so with pixel experience you can understand that everything is Google you have Google phone you have Google messages you have Google launcher you have everything which you can expect to be a Google option and this is Android 10 so that is pretty cool let's go to the about phone page in the about phone page you can see that it is the Moto G5 my version is the XT1686 but it should work with any of the Moto G5 plus versions as you can see it is Android 10 December security patches because the version I'm using right now which is the latest version available is still using December security patches it was released in, on 23rd December I believe apart from that build number and all that is there is available now if you are someone who's familiar with Android 10 and as of now if you are someone who is familiar with Android custom ROM scenes you should be familiar with Android 10 because it has been out for a, lot, for a while now it's pretty good the Android 10 architecture everything is a refinement over the previous versions of Android and it does work out really well let's get to the extra stuff now it is a pixel experience ROM so the extra stuff is basically what you get with pixel so you have network options and all that something which I do want to mention is that uh, geo is working with geo um, the ULT support so I'm getting ULT support there were a few people who were having issues with TV ULT I didn't have it but I have used idea and also Vodafone VLT all of them are working fine now apart from that in the settings you can see that uh, connected device all that options are available apps and notification options all the application security options permissions options are all there from the pixel options so you do have that let's go to display in the display options you do have brightness level styles and wallpaper are available you can customize that I am using a custom style because I like it you have a uh, default options available and uh, Android 10 has actually taken the dark mode pretty seriously still it's not perfectly black it is still perfectly uh, fine I like this one better in my opinion on an LCD screen so that is there fun size display size can be customized lock screen display is available you can customize what all is available there and it also has the ambient display options now ambient display options are sort of broken in my experience because there are options there are times when it just doesn't work for example if I have it uh, now yeah now hand wave is okay it worked this time but it didn't work the first time so yeah it is not fully working in my opinion as pro as per the forum page the developer has said that it is because of the security patch I'm not really sure when he will be releasing the new version but it should be coming soon show lock sound timer lock sound message can be enabled and all that pretty cool now apart from that sound options basic stuff you do have all the options which you will get and also all you have all the uh, pixel sound animations or sound options available so you can customize that it does have a lot of options there now privacy options is a big thing with Android 10 and you do have options for that you can customize everything activity control advertisements all that can be customized from here so it does work out really well account options the security options as I've already said fingerprint scanner is working now one more thing which I do want to mention is that my phone is not encrypted I've kept it that way so that I can jump from custom ROM to custom ROM from what I read on online or from the forum you can double check that yourself but it doesn't have an issue with the encrypted phones but some ROMs do have it digital well-being and apparent controls are available digital well-being does work out really well some some people are having issues with the wind down I have turned it off I don't use wind down so I didn't have any issues with the phone going into silent some people were having issues with the uh, wind down when it would go into silent mode but it will not come out of silent mode when the wind down is finished so personally I don't use it but it is available just keep that in mind motor actions are still available and I'm really happy with it you do have device gestures which is really cool so you 
uh, double twist uh, chop chop for the uh, flashlight and double twist for the camera and all that it works really well i'm really happy with it it is one of the best features about the moto g5 it also has ambient display option in here if you want to select that again fingerprint gestures are available which i have been using now i'm not a huge fan of the latest a10 gesture navigation which uh, which which does interfere with the menu aspect of certain applications so i don't like it i've been using fingerprint gestures and it does work out really well so you do have options for uh, actions when the screen is on actions when the screen is off but for that i believe you need to have fingerprint unlocking disabled so i don't use it i i consider fingerprint unlocking a much useful option so i have kept that off screen of gestures on the screen is available if you want to use that i don't use it because it does tend to get activated whenever it's in my pocket so i don't like that so yeah it is available for those who want to try it out and system options you do have gestures now it does have jump to camera which is a great feature but on this one the uh, double twist is still great navigation options you do still have the two button navigation option and also the three button navigation option gesture navigation is available i really wanted an option to just disable the on-screen navigation button entirely i couldn't find any of that uh, here prevent ringing by pressing the power and volume up button uh, concurrently is available if you want to use it now it does have an ot updater i have not received any otas as of now so i'm not really sure if it works correctly or not but this is an official version it should work correctly so that is it in the extra features or extra settings of the rom let's get to the other stuff now first of all i do want to show you guys the end to the benchmark score the end to the benchmark score is about 100,425, averaging about 100 100,000, which is not bad for this device on android 10 this i mean you have to understand that this is quite an old device and it's still being kept alive as of now we have this option for testing it out and getting it to the latest version of android without any issues honestly i'm really really happy about it i personally did not have any issues of using this as my own one thing which i do want to mention is that in the xda profile it says that the known issue one of the known issue is flashlight toggle i didn't have any issues with that flashlight toggle works really well now the battle life the battle life of the rom is also pretty decent i'm getting about 10 percentage of active drain and idle drain is hovering somewhere 1.1 to 1.2 percentage which is not bad at all it does work really well i have used it for about two days uh, with all the all the applications installed now i did use it without any of the sim card and all that and uh, i'm getting really damn good battery life uh, in standby mode so yeah the standby drain is pretty much 0.2 some somewhere around that mark because i was getting the battery option was showing about seven to eight days of battery life remaining so that was pretty cool now the stability aspect of the rom the stability is pretty good Good. it's pixel experience rom you get what pixel is about and uh, again i have used this for about a two days and uh, i did not have any issues with it it all worked really well i didn't have any phone going into silent mode and i did not have any vlt issues i did not have any issues where it just randomly rebooted so i would consider that as a very good result uh, considering our device is not even does not even have an a10 version so i'm really happy with it this is the official version so i do kind of of expect that now the camera the camera it comes with is kind of like the lineage camera so uh, you can expect uh, about as much it's not bad actually it, it does take uh, decent photographs and it does have certain amount of quality with it it does work really well there is gcam available for those who want to use it but sadly it's not included and uh, honestly i don't think i mind that it's not included because that gets updated very fast and if it is included as a system app it is a very it's a it's a pain in the ass to just uh, install it and install the new version so it is available you can go check that out in the xda forums or on the telegram forums it is available now the aesthetics of the rom i do want to mention that the aesthetics of the rom are pretty good i i like it google has finally put in a dedicated dark mode into android and i'm really happy about it and this is the dark mode which is it's not it, it, in this version at least it is kind of like a pure amulet but still there are elements which are not pure amulet so there are things which are going on like that it works really well i like it the aesthetics of this rom is pretty much mimicking the pixel experience which is the whole point of using a pixel experience rom now the overall experience of using the rom again as i've already said it is a very very good 
warm. For those who want that pixel experience, want a stable life, not many features, it's kind of a mimicking ROM. It mimics a Pixel, uh, Pixel XL4 or Pixel 4 XL and that is pretty cool. It has phone app, it has all the stuff which you expect with it. There is no phone screening, call screening, but uh, there are ways to get that with Magisk and all that, but I didn't venture into that. I do have to say, it does make you feel like having a small version of Pixel in your hands when you're using this ROM with this device, so it works. Now let me show you guys the boot animation which is actually pretty cool, I like that. Here is a boot animation for uh, this ROM which is a Pixel Experience ROM. The reason, uh, the reason it is black now is because I am using dog theme. It actually changes uh, to white or black depending on the theme you have selected. So it is dark mode, so it is showing dark uh, background with the GUI logo. If you have selected it to be light theme, it does work out really well with that also. So guys, there you have it. That is the Pixel Experience ROM for the device uh, Moto G5. Plus, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comment section below. I will try my level best to answer them and help you guys out. So yeah, that is pretty much it. As a conclusion, great ROM for those who want the Pixel experience and you want a stable experience being on Android 10 with this aging device. And I'm really, really happy with this ROM. It works really well. So yeah, I guess I'm interested about the ROM. Then hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.